But what's going on toxic gamers today apparently somehow some way we got some good news i know guys it's crazy because normally you do not hear good news but today we're gonna do a side by side comparison with gta trilogy the defective edition guys plot twist it's no longer a defective edition no more because apparently this is what they have done first of all shout out to l and alista they bits so they have improved the gameplay right yeah shocker i know it's crazy like the video if you think this is a good thing dislike the video if you think this is not a good thing i want to know like where you guys are at with it so you see the old lighting you got the new lighting we're also going to get down to another video that i want to share with you in a second where we we got like all the different changes the big ones because of course this is only the the first change where we're seeing the old light uh, lighting versus new lighting and honestly it does make it now look uh, look like a real remaster of the original gta san andreas because if you play the original san andreas right in the original one the colors were especially for san andreas the colors were a lot more yellow-ish and this one it, it just didn't feel the same and part of me feels like that they upped the npc count or perhaps this is just like different time of the day or whatever the case might be it could be that but honestly it does look very very good shout out to the homie zach i'm gonna show you guys that video too Let's actually get down to the changes, roll it. After three long years, Rockstar Games has finally updated the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition, fixing years. bugs in the game, removing features you might not have thought of, as well as letting CJ drink sodas normally now. Today we have over 15 Bruh. brand new fixes, features and bugs in the gta damn three years later listen man a lot of people are looking like this not because the news is bad it's good news but three years later three years later <laughs> i guess better late than never don't get me wrong though but yeah right like yay crazy but i'm just hoping that they did not fix this one Bruh. this is the only glitch or whatever bug or or if you want to call it a non-glitch i hope they don't fit they didn't fix this it, it was good as it was in the original a trilogy definitive edition Let's to go out. over i want to give a shout out to besk infinity tj gm and rockstar invader i did learn a few things from these guys and rockstar was very barren in their patch notes but there are a lot more changes than what rockstar has told us so if you okay. learned something new from the video please consider giving it a thumbs up mm. like and subscribe my brothers like and subscribe Shout out to the homie Zach, and also guys, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. Links are always in the pinned comment and in the description. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo, boo Right away when starting up the trilogy, you'll notice something missing from the main menu, and that's the Grove Street Games logo and name. They have been omitted mm. and just completely removed, which is pretty crazy being that they did put the trilogy definitive edition together, what? but as we know, it's been kind of a mess since it launched. I can't holy crap so they removed their actual name from the game that they worked on damn say knock psych. it though because i couldn't create something like this but it is pretty crazy to say see psych. their logo taken out say also psych. in the menu there are a couple quality of life changes like if you're watching a cutscene and you pause it instead of the map opening up it'll actually just freeze frame and blur out whatever part of the cutscene you're on which is just a really nice quality of life update mm. as well as if you go to the save menu there are save dates added now they weren't there previously but moving on to the actual games and starting with gta 3 let's take a look at the changes to liberty city so previously if you went to the airport this part of the road was broken it looked like ray charles or stevie wonder was given a marker and told to create the lines on the road and this has now been updated oh my god or oh, wrong sound effect my bad oh my goodness my goodness so they they just had one job I guess this is why they removed their name. This is why they removed Grove Street name. But it's still wild that they worked on the game regardless of your opinion. Because initially, you know, I was feeling like the game is not going to be anything too crazy because we had the leaks and the rumors and they did come true at the time, right? I'm talking three years, guys, three years. Crazy, man. Where is GTA 6 trailer 2 at? Three years later, they removed their name from it and they fixed the road. Crazy. 
updated, cleaned up, and fixed. As well as if you go to the secret message you weren't supposed to be able to get here, you know, Rockstar Games didn't change the message, but they changed Remember something the a little odd. And that's all the of the trees in this area that were previously there. They've Dude. now been taken out. Again, that's something kind of weird. I always wish that Rockstar would have changed this message in the trilogy, but they didn't. But yeah, nonetheless, uh, we have uh, uh. trees removed. And Bruh. if we actually take a look at the pause menu or the map, there are some islands added, which is really cool because they weren't there before. Yo, say psych though, is that like the EP island? I don't want to say that sucker's full name on YouTube though, but you know what I'm saying? Like the island situation, bro, nah, say psych, bro, say psych. But if we do go check them out, they were there before and it's oh, just okay. icons for these rocks in the water. Oh, now, okay. another crazy thing that has been changed and just patched is getting to the islands early. Before, you could go right here, get out of the car and fall <laughs> under the map and this would allow you to get and explore Liberty City early, but Did it has it now been patched and no, Claude, man. since he can't swim, will just drown. Another minor feature- uh Okay, things like that, I don't want them to be patched though, you know? It's, it's, sometimes the glitches like these are legendary. Now, I'm not sure how legendary of a glitch that was in the original because I don't remember uh, doing that glitch. But you know, there are certain glitches that becomes legendary. Yeah? And we're not talking about a multiplayer game. Oh, for sure, if it's in a multiplayer game where you're glitching to get outside of the map, then it deserves to be patched 110%, right? But for a single player game, if it's not necessarily hurting the, the story or anything, yeah, right? Like, uh, no need to be patched. No need to patch it. I'm still hoping that they don't patch and they didn't patch this one. I hope. I keep saying, hopefully they don't patch. <laughs> hopefully they didn't patch it though, you know? Feature that is pretty cool is Claude given the middle finger. Initially, he couldn't do this, Bruh. but way back on the original version of GTA 3, he could. Well, this feature mm. has now been added back in. Maybe it's Rockstar saying F you to Grove Street Games. And lastly, Maybe. if we go to the park, Maybe. before Claude could walk on water or the water was frozen and it was iced over, but now it's fixed and Claude can actually walk through the water and not on top of the water. This isn't a new feature or an added feature, but in fact, a remote moved feature from the original GTA 3, and that's the ghost town. In the definitive edition, we can't see it. It was made invisible, or previously we thought it was removed from the game. But thanks to my friend Purple Wolf, he has actually created a script and was kind enough to send it to me so that we could take a look at the ghost town in GTA 3. It has been restored. Again, it was made invisible. So this is what it looks like. And you're actually one of Daniel. the first people in the world to see the ghost town in GTA 3. Now, moving on to Vice City, I honestly didn't find too many new changes here, but one of these also exists in GTA 3 that didn't before. And for the first time in these two games, you can actually run and gun while having a shotgun, for example. Before, you had to stand still and shoot, but now you can aim, shoot, and move at the same time, which is a really useful feature. Now, out of the trio, GTA San Andreas seems to have gotten the most updates. And starting with the weather category, the sandstorms yeah. have been updated. Before, they were very... Honestly, does look very good in the new one, right? It feels like, yeah, and you see your characters pretty, uh, pretty good as well because here it's kind of blurry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here you see the character and the lighting. The lighting is a huge thing, and they improved it. You know, credit where it's due. Three years late. Maybe I'll download the game eventually or at some time, at some point, and try out the game. Yeah, why not? Why not? You know, I bought it at the time, but three years too late. If it was like. If it came out a month after the game came out or somewhere around that, it, it should have been like a day one thing, don't get me wrong guys, but a week after or perhaps let's just say max a month later. Yeah, three years too late though. I I don't know, I don't know. Very watered down. They were almost non-existent, but now they have been updated into their full glory and you definitely can't ignore them, which is awesome because in the definitive edition, the desert was kind of neglected in every aspect. We also see the return of volumetric clouds. When you fly oh, way up in the sky before they didn't exist, there wasn't yeah. even fog and it made the GTA San Andreas map look very small. But now these volumetric clouds have returned. We can fly and through them, them adding a level and element of realism. I uh, just hate the pop-ins, but of course, after all, this is an original uh, PS2 game. It was a PS2 game, right? So makes sense, makes sense, but looks way better. Damn, yeah. They made it better. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's a W. It is a W. Thoughts? As well as making the game appear bigger than it really is. So I'm very glad to see this feature yeah. added yeah, yeah. back.
Now, minor things have also been updated, like CJ crouching. Before his 3D model rigging was very messed up, he looked like a goblin or a gargoyle, but now we can see that CJ appears more semi-normal when crouching, as well as riding on a bicycle. Soda drinking, as we mentioned early on in the video, has also been fixed. Before, it was like he was pouring it all over his head like he was Stone Cold Steve Austin, but now CJ can drink sodas normally. And a really cool feature that I learned from Rockstar Invader is if you go into the gyms before the punching bags were like they were made of concrete they didn't uh, move uh, they weren't uh, yeah. interactive at all but now they've been updated you can move them around you can punch them and be rocky if you want to so that is really neat as well as tire smoke has been updated before the tire smoke was black for some weird reason but now it has been updated it's kind of hard to tell here but the tire smoke is white and one of the last features that I noticed in San Andreas is the street lights. And this actually goes for all three of the trilogy games. But in San Andreas, for example, the street lights at night had more of a white glow to them, but they now, now have yellowish, been updated huh? with a bright, vibrant mm. amber glow that is more reminiscent of the time frame as well as the PS2 version of the game. So it's Yay. nice to see the lights up. Now, honestly, Looks kind of nice though. I'm gonna download again and see. Especially San Andreas is one one of my all time favorite. I'm assuming it's probably your all time favorite favorite as well. If you're a '90s kids uh, '90s kid, you feel what I'm saying. One, uh, one in the comments if you played San Andreas. Let me know if you played it when it first came out or maybe later on. I feel like that. I played it in 2006 or 2007. I feel like I played it in 2007 and the game, if I'm not mistaken, came out in 2004. And when I played it, I was 11 years old, uh, give or take, somewhere around that time, right? So yeah, I was a kid. I played this game as a kid, man, and it was, it was busting, bro. Yeah, as an 11 year old kid, this game looked like real life to my console peasant eyes back then, man. Time flies like crazy, man. Almost at 30, guys, pushing 30 here. Uh, I'm probably the oldest dude out here, you know what I'm saying? Sounding like a grandpa out here. <laughs> man. <laughs> Let me know how old are you guys right now, man. Dated in the environment. Pushing 30, sadly. Now, the final and most sadly. major update of them all is a brand new feature in the main menu called Classic Lighting. And what this does is restore each game in the trilogy to the look that we know and love from the PlayStation 2, updating the ambience, the environment, and the sky, yo. most importantly, in each game. So. Yo. Yo, no, nah. say psych, yo. So you can turn it on and off, so you have the option to do it. That's that's cool, man. That W W Don DeMarco. Yo, finally got some good thing, man. I, I I know it's three years late, and I'm sure like a lot of you guys would be like, yeah, yeah, three years late. And you're right, you absolutely are right. But what I'm trying to say here is that we've had so much bad news recently in gaming. So finally, some decent news. I know three years late, guys, but it'll be what it be, though. So. So this was something that was introduced in the mobile port first. And you know it's bad when a mobile version looks better and plays better than the console and PC versions. But again, this feature can be toggled on or off in the menu depending on your own personal Crazy. preference. But I Crazy. love it. In San Andreas, for example, we can see the neglected desert restored to its former glory with those iconic purple skies that before were just a total mess. The same goes for Las Venturas and the vibrance oh, of that man. city at nighttime, yeah. as well as San Fierro. Each city in GTA San Andreas and part of the map does have its own ambience, vibe, and atmosphere, but in the definitive edition, that was stripped away. Vice City also looks amazing with those vibrant watercolor skies restored before the clouds look like they were just from a Google image of a vibrant blue sky with clouds. But again, that has been restored to its former glory as well. It's really nice to revisit visit the Trilogy Definitive Edition yeah. with these updates. And speaking mm -hmm. of the updates, I probably missed a few because Rocks- I still want like a real remaster because of course this is not a real remaster. This is more like, I guess, HD version of the original games, which is all right. But uh, I guess everybody wanted a real remaster when we first had 
had the leaks and when we had the leaks people wanted to believe it people didn't want to believe it it's whatever right with gta i understand because gta is one of those franchises we had leaks so many leaks that uh and people don't want to believe the leaks right but of course this is one of those this was one of those leaks that came true and it was uh, real it came from good sources and it was real i believed it initially as well when it was coming out i was covering it too back then but the leaks also said that it's not gonna be a real remaster it's just gonna be a port that's gonna be hd fied for playstation and xbox right at the time and it was believable and and it, the leak said that if you are really expecting a remaster a real remaster you're going to be disappointed and therefore i covered that as uh, as is and that's why i was not disappointed i was disappointed when we heard the leaks about it but i was not disappointed when the game came out because we know, uh, you know, we already lowered the bar and I lowered the bar f as well, lowered my expectations. So had a chill time with it, but now it's obviously better. But still, for a game like San Andreas, it deserves a real remaster, a real one, you know. Um, perhaps they can use uh, their GTA 6 engine in the future to remaster this game and make it look as good as that. You know what I mean, right? Like a real remaster. Like the video if you agree. Star really didn't give us any patch notes or information. So again, a lot of this goes back to the GTA community and the amazing people in it like Besk Infinity, TJGM, and Rockstar Invader for their keen eye. Shout out to, to them and shout out to the homie Zach as well and shout out to you guys for being here. Check out this video on the screen. We ended up getting leaks and new gameplay details for GTA 6 trailer number two. We were getting news about it. Check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there.